Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Southern California Seismic Data video. Today, earlier today, we had a 4.3 um, aftershock of 7.1 that occurred in July of last year in Cirilla's Valley, California. So there's 163 felt reports, and if you were close to the shaking, you could have felt it up to 5.0. Oh uh, no, Here, let me open it again, sorry. Close the wrong tab. And let's pull this up on Google Earth. And what's, inter and what's interesting about this quake is that usually the aftershocks have occurred in this area here. But this one actually occurred a bit off to the east. I believe it occurred on the Asho fault zone. I guess the code. Uh oh. Yeah, the Ash Hill fault zone, as you can see here. And so yeah, that doesn't usually happen. And let's see how far it was from the 7.1 epicenter. About 18 miles. Okay. And let's see how far it was from our seismometers. About a oh, about 157 miles, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. Okay, so if you look on our infotech here, pretty good ratings. Goes black on all three, in Menifee, in Mammoth, and as well, and Camarillo. And yeah, that's about that's that for the infotech. And then here you can see the P wave, S wave, P wave, S wave, and it fades out. What's cool about this is that the P wave and S wave are actually about the same size. Usually the S wave is a bit larger. Look what goes on. Sorry, the raspberry shakes been the swarm has been slow today. And if you look on the spectrogram, it gets dark here. Oh my gosh. Sorry, it's slow. It gets dark, then it starts to fade out. And this quake was somewhat far away, so it doesn't occur on the entire spectrogram. It occurs lower. And see right there again, P wave, S wave. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll see you again in the next video.